Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Izumi and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a 90s inspired makeup and the photo that inspired me is this photo of Divana Yoki for a French magazine and it's very grunge with dark lips, thin eyebrows and purplish eyes so I want to recreate that for this video. So if you want to see it, just keep on watching. So to prep my face, I use the Low pH Good Morning Cleanser. Cause RX Hyaluronic Acid Hydro Power Essence just to give my face a bit of hydration. For my eyes, I put in the contacts from Olens called Russian Velvet. This is actually graded and these are how they look like. So there aren't any rings around the colored area of your eye, so they look not very natural, but not alienish as well. When I think of 90s makeup, I think of everything matte, but since I want to still make my skin look really nice and smooth, I'm going to be mixing both matte and a glowy primer. And for the glowy primer, I'm going to be using the Laneige. Laneige, Laneige. Glowy makeup serum on the areas where I get dry, so warm it up around the areas where I do get dry. I'm avoiding my T-zone because that's where I'm going to be putting my matte primer. I also like to put it under the eyes just to give the under eyes some hydration. This pimple has been here for days. It's not even paying rent. How rude. I swear by this. So I put a bit on my finger and then I warm it up on the back of my hand and then I just tap it. Tap it on my nose. The foundation I'm going to be using is the NARS Radiant Long Hourwear Foundation. This is really well loved and this is in the shade Sahel. It's a bit too pink on me and a bit too light but since, you know, I haven't gone out in two months, I feel like this is going to be the perfect shade. So I'm going to be shaking it. Then I'm going to be using a brush. Now, they say the best way to apply this is actually with your fingers but it also works well with a brush, so I'm just gonna go to town with it. I'm gonna try to put on foundation as thinly as I could, because in the photo of Divon Aoki, she had really natural looking base makeup. So I'm also gonna be putting on some faux freckles on, for sure. Blending it down to my neck. I think this is the right amount of foundation to put on my face right now. For now, I'm going to be using my sponge to blend the foundation on my skin even more to avoid that cakiness. So, now that we have our foundation on, I'm going to be using some concealer to highlight a lot of parts of my face. Mars Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Macadamia, which matches my skin when I am very light, very drastically under my eyes. You know, that beauty light effect. So a lot under my eyes, which I don't normally do because I don't like super bright under eyes. And then a lot on my forehead. Down here. Oh. oh my god, that's too much, right? Here. And then off. Oh. 
tap the and melt the products together. Marry them. Make them have beautiful base children. You know? There you have it. We have a very perfected highlighted base. So now we're moving on to the eyebrows and from the photo I chose it looked like her eyebrows were really light and thin and highly arched and that's the opposite of my bushy ass eyebrows. So since I don't have a glue stick with me, we're gonna make do and do a couple of tricks to try to make my eyebrows look a lot thinner. Brushing up my eyebrows. A brow gel. This is from a brand called Beauty Brows. And then the inside is just transparent glue gel or something. <laughs> Mina setting spray to spray on the can. So the trick here is to do it really slowly. This way the gel gets a hold of each and every one of your brow hairs. I don't do this trick a lot just because I find it a bit uncomfortable for everyday wear. But um, that's what we're doing. I'm trying to make it look bushy and thin at the same time. I don't think this is gonna make my eyebrows look thinner, but later on in the next steps, I'm wishing it's gonna be making my eyebrows look thinner. Ooh. NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Macadamia, again. And then I'm gonna be using a spoolie. But I don't want to mess up my concealer pot, so I'm going to be getting a bit with the opposite end, putting it on my the back of my hand, just like so. I hope it looks a bit... Oh my god, is it working? It's working! Okay, if that'll do, don't gay. That'll do. Go. We've got some lighter eyebrows. The Cody Arspan Loose Powder, which is one of my favorites ever since. I've had this for two years and it's still going strong and full. <laughs> oh dear lord, I hope this works. I'm baking the side of my nose because in the photo she wasn't wearing much contour in the 90s they weren't using a lot of contour just a lot of white powder so I'm going to be putting that on my face am my 90s enough? what do you think? and I'm going to be attempting to make my arch higher. There's no way of blocking my eyebrows from this video, okay? So I have to fake it. <laughs> Looking back at this really pixelated photo, the eye makeup she has is really purpley and silvery, like metallic. I have this palette from Bad Habit. It's a really cheap palette and it's nice to have because the colors are so vibrant. And if you're looking for a palette to use just to do, you know, festival looks or something creative, I'm gonna be using this brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna be getting the shade BAM. Oh 
Okay guys, there's a lot of fallout with this palette, so I'm gonna be putting some powder underneath. More translucent powder and then blending the edges of the eyeshadow. And then I'm using this dirty ass palette I have, which has a combination of Urban Decay eyeshadow pans. This shade right here. And then maybe a bit of this as well. Lots and lots of shimmer on the crease. Now I'm getting a really silvery eyeshadow from the palette I have here. Brush from Real Techniques. And I'm gently swiping it up to also contour the eyeshadow we put right there. I'm gonna be using Max PowerPoint Eye Pencil in the shade Permaplum. So it's this color. Lash lines. Just like so. I'm gonna be using Rowdy, which is this shade over here, with a Real Techniques eyebrow shader brush. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm dragging it down. Just spraying the brush, then dipping in to the cube shade. It's a very reflective pink. So to recreate the lips, I'm gonna be covering my lips with a concealer first. Now we're gonna be recreating her lip shape with the same eyeliner I used on my eyes. Now that we have the outline of the lips all filled up and dark, I'm gonna be using a lipstick now. This is Mood by Sunny's. Now we're gonna be using another lipstick from Sunny's, which is Coco. The outer parts of our lips. Trying hard not to ruin the outline, so I'm gonna be using a small brush. So I just curled my lashes and put on some mascara. I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Just stopping right here. Vaughn has her cute little perfect nose, so I'm gonna be bringing it down here. The orangey auburn shades and this small detailer brush from Real Techniques. I spray it with my setting spray. Use my finger to make a little point. Go ham with the freckles. And whenever I get a little bit of the big ones, I just tap it with my finger. So I have a mole here, I'm gonna be darkening it even more. And you can even put a bit on the tip of your nose and gently tap it over the spots you made. It's like in the middle of being grungy and being 80s or 90s, I don't know. It's just purple eyeshadow and dark lips with a lot of dimension and a lot of sparkle. So what do you guys think? 
So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this semi-chaotic 90s inspired makeup tutorial. Be sure to let me know what you think and subscribe if you want to see more videos from my channel. Bye guys!